Keep going. You, you just, you gripped it. On camera, that definitely looks like a decently big hole. Jump in there, AJ. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's about right there. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going uphill. Okay. Let's do it. All right. I'm Paul with Go Treads. Behind the camera is John. If you don't know who John is, you need to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I think I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. So John is over here. He's uh, he's allowing me to talk about Go Treads. So Go Treads is really simple. It's a traction recovery tool. It's also a vehicle leveling um, product. So it can be used as a vehicle leveler. So we're going to talk just briefly about it. It's basically four feet of traction and up to four inches of leveling. You can see that each panel is one inch thick. And so this is a, a four inches of leveling capability. In a minute, John's gonna cut over there, just not now, but he's gonna cut over there to that Sequoia and show you what it looks like underneath the tires. But look, at it, look at how they did this. So they used the starter panel as a little ramp. They just drove right on up. They're not actually, phys I mean, they're not really literally leveling at this point, they're just demonstrating four inches of leveling on this vehicle. And it's no problem because Go Treads is a professional tool, meaning that we sell to commercial fleets and even military. So it's it's rated for 50,000 pounds per axle. It can handle the weight, no problem. So that's that, let's go back over to the traction. But on our way, let's take a look at this. Now check this out. This is two GoTread XLs connected together with this Quick Connect. So you can, because of the modular designs of GoTreads, you can connect GoTreads together and create just basically a GoTread so road. what's the longest well, GoTread you've made? 20 feet. Okay. <laughs> All right, never, never one, I am gonna walk on top of this. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, good luck, buddy. Um, so if you really needed a serious traction run, you can make a road literally, literally out of go treads. So it's really quite simple to use. There is a distinctive starter panel and it's smooth on this side intentionally. So what you do is you get stuck, you get buried in the situation, you clear out the loose debris, you need to have contact between the ground and the tire, and you have yourself a go tread sandwich, right? So all you have to do is make sure you have that strong contact, the weight of the vehicle uh, gives you the, this, the force down, and as you slowly accelerate, it's going to automatically suck in the starter panel, and that's intentional, it's self-feeding. But once you get to the second panel, that's where the traction starts. The back bottom of that panel has all of these like miniature groove shovels. It compacts, it compresses, and it digs into that loose material. So that's where you get your traction. It articulates so it helps you get out. And these grooves actually help keep this aligned with your tire. So as you advance and go forward, if this is skewed a little bit, it will help auto center it. So just a couple of design features of GoTrez that help you get unstuck quickly. Um, it's great for any kind of material that is uh, fine, like sand, silt, snow, anything that can compact and compress. This kind of gravel here, not so much, gonna be honest about that. So it's too big, can't really compact or compress that. Mud is always tricky too. All traction devices actually have a difficult time in mud. Certain types of mud, no problem, but if it's too gumbo, too sticky, it fills all the grooves in, makes it slick, sorry, you're gonna need a buddy with a toe strap. Or if it's too swampy, there's just nothing really to bite into. So uh, that's just being honest about our product. Now. <clears throat> and by the way. Yeah. You look like an honest guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say something snarky, but uh, I am. But anyway, GoTreads is too. So we do have a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defect. And what that means, and I'm gonna point this out, is that GoTreads, like I said, are made for really heavy equipment. And so if I had the strength, I could bend this and it'll literally bend in half, but it won't break. And that's a properly made go treads. Now, if this were to break, that's when we take care of you because that's a manufacturer defect. So that's our manufacturer's fault. So we'll replace that part for you, no charge. But go treads are much like tires on your vehicle. You buy them, you use them, you wear them out. Let me show you. These are four year old go treads that have been leveled on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. They don't look pretty, but they continue, they, they absolutely work. You can continue to use these. So uh, there's actually quite a bit of grip on there and uh, there's, they can still level, but that's what they're gonna look like over uses. Don't get all touchy about pretty go treads. We want them to look like that. So over time, you're gonna wear them out. Let's say you burn this out because it is plastic, even though it's a really high quality plastic. What's really cool is it's modular. Knock out that pin with a hammer and all. Buy this part from us, it's $20. Replace it, you're good to go. So don't have to buy a whole new set.
So anyway, we're on all the socials. GoTrades.com is our website. GoTrades, anywhere you want to look us up. And we're, we'd love to hear your stories if you're a GoTrades owner. Uh, we would love, you, I'd love to have you follow us. Please follow John and his adventures. He's excellent. He's got great storytelling. He does a lot of cool stuff in his Honda. So it's really impressive to us. And he's, we're just big fans. So I don't know. I'm Sign up. You guys too. And you, Paul, too. You're, you've been so kind. No. Uh, I'm, you've been great. My, when I first met you at uh, Salt Lake City Adventure Expo. No. Actually, yeah, that was fun. That was Expo. fun. So we do have our own bag. It's a great bag. It's made in the USA. That's another thing I want to mention is that everything from the supply chain is USA made with all of our products. So if everything from the steel to the resin to the, the colorant, everything. And this is our bag. It's a good bag. And uh, we, we're like not... Your bag. Yeah, it's a great bag. It's because uh, it's uh, lined with this yeah. poly... Poly I'm not an expert on bags, yeah, but no, it is. No, no, maybe, yeah, but yeah. this this is but a great bag made by a U.S. company, and uh, we really appreciate their work and, and the quality. But the same manufacturer makes their our bag makes this bag. Now this is a better bag. It is made by High Road Adventures, and you can check this bag out. But what's really nice about it is that, well, primarily it allows you to fold it out so it fits better in your vehicle if that's the space that you need. Because ours is absolutely just a cube. That's it. Theirs can be a cube and it can be laid out flat and it's kind of like a saddle back or a, a saddle uh, design so you can hang it out to let it dry what's really nice about this bag is that it lets air because uh, these folks use our go trays to level their vehicle on a regular basis and so in the morning when they drive out the go trays are kind of wet from the dew and so they wanted to have something that didn't trap the moisture in like our bag they're smart so they wanted to design a bag that allowed for the let me loosen it up here that will make it easier allow it to breathe so that's why they have this grommet that lets it breathe that's why it's open up here to lets it breathe and kind of lets the air dry out your go tread so it's a much higher quality material great design bag but please check out our folks at high road adventure if you're interested in a bag like this to go with your go treads okay it's still running one more thing yeah okay so as we're doing this mm -hmm. um, can i like can i rip through this at like high speed or how, how would that work with the go tread like oh, if I just romp through, uh, is it, it like yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is a great question about how fast can I accelerate while using go treads? Slower the better. So it's kind of uh, against the norm because usually when you get stuck in your vehicle, you know, you want to hit the gas and like spin out and and try and just high RPMs and you know through through that sand or that snow. So it's kind of tricky because you kind of have to re-educate yourself when it comes to using a traction aid tool because go treads is designed to accelerate slowly. So this is why. When it comes to grabbing the starter panel, you want to be able to grab it, but if you go too fast, it's going to just kick in and you're going to miss some of those traction treads because your, your vehicle has a lot of torque, especially if it has uh, traction control. So the traction control computer sometimes works against you and sometimes it's better to turn off your traction control if you have that option, hit the button and just use the engine power. So that will allow you to, or go in a lower gear. So that will allow you to slowly suck this in because what you need to do is you need to get your vehicle weight down onto this traction part to create that traction sandwich. If you can successfully accelerate slowly and get to this point, you're gonna get out. And it's, that's the secret sauce between, behind go treads getting you unstuck. So the, if you're just hitting the gas and it's spinning, go treads is gonna catch and it's gonna go on the other side. You don't want that, that's not gonna help you. So a slow acceleration is the best. I learned. Okay, uh, so one thing that Paul just said was, you know, you wanna drive slowly. And, uh, and one thing that I've learned throughout the years is that when you spin your tires, you lose traction, when you spin your tires, you've already lost traction. You go faster, you're losing even more traction. Uh, so it's best to try to go slow. If you've lost traction, just stop, just stop. Just accept that you've lost traction because the worst thing you want to do is get your frame buried, right? Because now you're digging a bunch of material to just get your car unstuck. So if you if you stop sooner, then you have a lot less material to get away from your t uh, tires and then go treads will be highly effective, much more effective. And the other thing to remember is that if you're in a two wheel drive opposed to a four wheel drive, let's say you're in a four wheel drive and all four are stuck, then you're going to need to clear material away from all the tires because they can actually like chalk you. They can get you, you know, if you only do a couple tires but the other tires are not uns uh, uh, cleared out, then that could be like a chalk and keep you stuck. 
So just some tips to remind, uh, to remember. Also airing down. We don't generally tell our general audience to air down because then you have to have a way to air up to safely drive on the highway. So that's reserved to the experienced off-roaders. But if you're stuck and you're aired down and you just go treads, holy cow, really effective. Just a couple of things that we've uh, observed as well. All right, great, Paul. Yes. That, that's our 10 minutes right there. <laughs> All right. We, we, made our, we made our episode. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Great. So I've been running a rooftop tent for a few months now. And the reason why I went with GoTreads is because I no longer have a place to put my traction boards. And I actually lost my traction boards in a snow recovery, so they're gone. I wanted a traction aid that would fit in my vehicle, not take up so much space, and then also double as a leveler. So on the way home from Overland Expo, I found myself in a situation where I needed a traction aid. And this is where the go treads came in handy. Please note that my tires were at 42 psi. Uh oh, this might be actually challenging. <laughs> One second, AJ. It's a little tricky uh, obstacle for me. Let me just turn on my modes. That's a big hole. <laughs> so, looks like this has been washed out pretty bad. Cool. I know. Nice. So what I'm doing is I'm braking all the way to reset. Because once you start spinning, you've lost traction. Yeah, I think I got it. Nice. Yeah, let's do that. Because right now it's spinning and it's not really moving forward, and um, you know, I really don't have good traction. Yeah. Okay, nice and steady. On camera, that definitely looks like a decently big hole. Jump in there, AJ. <laughs> yeah, it's like about right there. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going uphill. 